good morning everyone this is ranjana and i welcome you to this video lecture till now we have completed two chapters the last lesson and the law spring i hope you all are clear with both the chapters i have already given you notes summary theme descriptions of every taught chapters and we are also providing you some assignments and question answers so please please students do your assignments and question answers do not take this lockdown or this situation very lightly you can improve your english during this time so please do study please read the chapters thoroughly and today we will begin with the third chapter that is deep water so i have already given you notes or the summary of the deep water today i am going to explain this chapter so in this module first i will begin with the author and then i will go forward with the introduction summary the characters descriptions and the theme of this chapter so first of all about the author so this chapter we deep water or the story is written by william douglas william douglas was an american jurist and politician who served as an associate justice of supreme court of united state nominated by the president franklin d roosevelt douglas was confirmed at the age of 40 one of the youngest justices appointed to the court Douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights. He retired in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court. The following excerpt or part is taken from his Of Men and Mountains by William Douglas. The chapter deals with a young boy William Douglas who nearly drowned in a swimming pool he talks about the fear of water and how he finally overcome it so this is basically the autobiography of him so now i will start with the introduction in the story douglas talks about his fear of water and how he finally overcome it with strong will power courage hard work and firm determination once he took courage the fear vanished that shows most of our fears are baseless fear creates danger where there is none the writer's experiences further confirm the proverbial truth where there is will there is way now summary of this chapter the story deep water tells us how the writer overcome his fear of water and learned swimming with sheer determination and will power he had developed a terror of water since childhood when he was 3 or 4 years old the writer had gone to california with his father one day on the beach the waves knocked the child down and swept over him the child was terrified but the father who knew there was no harm laughed the experience bred a permanent fear of water in the child's subconscious mind still another incident more serious increased his terror of water the writer was trying to learn swimming in the ymca pool or swimming pool in yakima one day while he was waiting for other boys a big boy suddenly played a dangerous prank and pushed him into the water the writer was terribly frightened he went down 9 feet into the water when he reached the bottom he jumped upward with all his strength he came up but very slowly he tried to catch hold of something like a rope but grasped only water he tried to sh- shout 
but no sound came out. He went down again. His lungs ached, head throbbed and he grew dizzy. He felt paralyzed with water. All his limbs were paralyzed. Only the movement of his heart told him that he was alive. Again he tried to jump up, but this time his limbs would not move at all. He looked for ropes, lathers and water wings, but all in vain. Then he went down again, the third time. This time all efforts and fear ceased. He was moving towards peaceful death. The writer was in peace. When he came to consciousness, he found himself lying on the side of the pool with the other boys nearby. The terror that he had experienced in the pool never left him. It haunted him for years and years to come. It spoiled many of his expeditions of canoeing, swimming and fishing. It spoiled his pleasures in Maine lakes, New Hampshire, Columbia and Bumping Lake etc. But the writer was determined to conquer his terror, his terror of water. He took help of a swimming instructor to learn swimming. The instructor taught him various actions necessary in swimming part by part. He put his face under water and exhaled and inhaled, raising it above water. He practiced it for several weeks. He had to kick with his legs a few weeks on the side of the pool. At last, he combined all his actions and made the writer swim. He learned swimming, but the terror continued. So deep goes our childhood experiences. So fearful is the fear of fear. Whenever he was in the water, the terror returned. Hence, forward the writer tried to terrorize the terror itself. He tried to face new challenge. When terror came, he confronted it by asking it sarcastically as to what it can really do to him. He plunged into the water as if to defy the fear. Once he took courage, the terror vanquished. The terror gone completely. He faced the challenge deliberately in various parts or in various places like the warm lake. He conquered it at the last. So he, at last, finally, he overcome his fear of water. Now I am going to give you the gist of this lesson because I have already explained the summary. William O. Douglas had a desire to learn swimming since childhood. At the age of 3 or 4, he was knocked down and buried by a wave at a beach in California. Then he developed a great aversion to water. At the age of 10 or 11, he decided to learn to swim with water wings at the YMCA pool since it was safe at the shallow end. A misadventure took place then. While sitting alone and waiting for others to come at the pool, a big boy came and threw Douglas into deep end of the pool. Douglas shallowed water and went straight down to the bottom of the pool. While going down, he planned to make a big jump towards but came up slowly, tried to shout but could not. At he, as he went down the pool second time, he tried to jump upward but it was a waste of energy. Terror held him deeper and deeper. During the third trial, he sucked water instead of air. Light was going out and there was no more panic. So he ceased all efforts and he became unconscious. He crossed to oblivion. When he revived, he found himself vomiting beside the pool. He was in grief of fear of water and it deprived him of the joys of boating, swimming and fishing. He hired an instructor to learn swimming. The instructor taught him swimming piece by piece. He went to different lakes to swim and found tiny vestiges of fear still gripped him. He challenged the fear and swam. Swimming up and down the warm lake, he finally overcome his fear of water. 
he realized that in death there is peace and there is terror only in the fear of death now at last i am going to discuss the theme of this chapter in this essay william o douglas talks about sphere of water and how he finally overcome it by his courage determination hard work strong will power perseverance and the desire to learn if these are practiced we can definitely achieve success in all our endeavors so this is it this is the summary of this whole chapter i hope you all understood it now thank you keep reading keep listening